Welcome to Shooting It Straight with Stan. I am your host, Stan the Annuity Man, America's annuity agent licensed in all 50 states. I do encourage you to go to my site at theannuityman.com to run quotes on our calculators, get my books, watch videos, podcasts, all of that stuff. But today's topic is MIGAs are not callable. And this is very important in the world that we're living in right now with interest rates that have risen and people want to lock them in, what do you do? How do they differ from bonds or CDs or things like that? <clears throat> so first of all, let's talk about what is a MIGA, acronym MIGA, M-Y-G-A, multi-year guarantee annuity. Multi-year guaranteed annuity. That's the annuity industry's version of a CD. It is not an income annuity. It is not annuitization. It is giving the money to the life insurance company that issues the annuity, then they are going to contractually guarantee an annual yield for the duration that you choose. Now, if you go to my site at theannuityman.com, we have the best live feed of all MIGA rates in the country. You can shop for your specific state. Why your specific state is because fixed annuities, and there's many different types, but MIGAs, they are fixed rate annuities. They're they are approved at the state level. So you'd have to put in your state and then, you know, whatever duration you're looking at, you know, two years, one year, three year, five year, seven year, 10 year, 10 year right now is the longest term that you can lock in. <clears throat> so let's talk about callable features. Now, in my previous life at Morgan Stanley and UBS and Payne Weber and Dean Witta, um, you know, I was very adept at bonds, whether they're corporate bonds, municipal bonds, et cetera. Um, but those types of bonds typically had, a lot of them had call features. What does that mean in English, Stan the Annuity Man? Call features mean that if interest rates go down after you purchase the highly yielding bond, et cetera, then some of those provisions allow that issuing um, entity to call that money back. I know they're, they're saying you're not going to get that yield anymore we're going to give you your cash back and you got to go find something else. The same thing is true with a lot of high yielding CDs, certificates of deposit that can be issued at banks and or brokerage firms. Um, so for instance, if, if you went to you know Vanguard or Fidelity or, or any of the large banks or small banks or credit unions, they have um, CDs, certificates of deposits. But a lot of those high yielding CDs, not all, but a lot are callable, which means that that chunky, yummy, high interest rate that you're getting, the bank and or brokerage firm, whoever issued that CD, can call it back, can say, all right, we're not going to do that anymore with the interest that you love, but here's all of your money back with interest accrued up to that point, whatever those provisions are within, the, within that contract. Now, CDs and multi-year guarantee annuities, in my opinion, are one and the same. Um, the difference is who's who's guaranteeing the interest rate. Um, but MIGAs, <clears throat> to me, should dovetail and coincide with treasury, CDs, money markets, et cetera. It's protecting your principal. You're not, you're not sp spending any money on fees or gotcha fees or hidden fees or management fees. It is a guarantee of that yield for a specific period of time that you choose. And MIGAs, they're not all the same in the fact that you can have some liquidity features with some. Some allow you to take out interest only. Some allow you to take out 5%. Some allow you to take out 10% annually from a liquidity standpoint. You don't have to, but you can. But here's the, I think people are missing one of the biggest value propositions with my guess, and I'm out here standing the annuity man to point it out. I think we all can agree that with 32 trillion in debt and counting, however you want to count that, but that clock that's on the wall, that's on the building somewhere in New York, that you walk by and go, oh my gosh, that's a lot of debt. Um, the, the, the government, United States government, can't continue to keep raising interest rates to service that debt. It would be like me and you if we had a mortgage, just raising the mortgage percentage. At some point in time, there's a breaking point where it doesn't make any sense. So at the time of this taping, please look at the date. Interest rates with MIGAs are very fair, in my opinion. And I have a, a rule of thumb. If your duration that you're wanting to lock in is less than three years, 
then you probably should look at CDs and treasuries. And I do not sell CDs and treasuries. But if your duration that you want to lock in is three years or more, what you're going to find that MIGAs, multi-year guarantee annuities, fixed rate annuities, the annuity industry version of a CD, will offer a better contractual yield. And that's very important right now because I don't know if we're at interest rate tops. The bell didn't ring at the top or the bottom, as all of us know. But I think instinctually, all of us are saying, you know what? This, um, you know, they're probably going to lower rates. And if you think that, then it might make sense to go a little bit longer on the yield curve. And what I mean by that is most people don't want to lock in guarantees for a very long time. And typically, when we were waiting for rates to rise, I'm like, let's let's either ladder it two, three, four, five year ladder or five years kind of the sweet spot. But what I want you to consider is maybe going longer on that yield curve, maybe locking in 10 years guaranteed interest rate or, or nine, seven, eight, whatever. Why? Because it's not callable. And that's important. I'm I'm going to pound the table right now and I will take the calls in if you're mad five, six, seven years from now, and you've locked in long-term guaranteed interest rates with Vigas, I'm pretty sure you're going to be happy with that. You're not going to be disappointed. And if you are, you have a really good interest rate. That's fine. I guess that's the risk you're taking. But with all of the other CDs and bonds, check and see if they have call features. Check and see if they can be called back if interest rates start going down. Multi-year guarantee annuities, my guys, are not callable. They are guaranteed for the term that you lock in. So if you lock in a 10-year term and interest rates go drastically down, the annuity company can't call that back in. They can't pull the rug out from under you contractually. They have to honor that contractual yield that you've locked in for that long term. A lot of the times we talk about laddering, MIGAs, you know, short-term ladders. And typically when we do that, we're talking, we're trying to catch rising rates. I want you to think a little bit differently. Let's think reverse ladder, meaning let's go a bit longer on the yield curve. Instead of a ladder of three, three, four, and five year, how about a ladder of 10, nine, seven, or 10, nine, eight, or 10, seven, five? Because you want to lock in guarantees if you instinctually feel like I do, that interest rates eventually will go down. So the key takeaway here, MIGAs are not callable. So it might make sense to lock in those guarantees and peel off the interest, live off the interest, not touch the principal, or just let it grow and compound. Remember, MIGAs can be used in IRA, non-IRA, Roth IRA. Doesn't matter. The guarantees are the same. It just depends on if you're taking money out, the taxation of that money coming out. So very, very important. MIGAs are not callable. Does it make it better than bonds and CDs? No. But it is a distinctive point and a distinctive fact and feature of that product, MIGAs, that you need to put in the back of your head, especially you know, if you're looking for guarantees and you're looking to lock in that yield. Understand, too, one last thing. The underlying value of MIGAs do not fluctuate like bonds, okay, or do not fluctuate like some CDs. It's The principle is protected. You aren't going to pay any fees. There's no hidden and gotchas. At the end, if you've taken all the interest out, you're going to have the original principal waiting for you. But hey, you just might think about this thing's not callable. I might want to lock in a little bit longer than I typically do. Hey, my name is Stan the Annuity Man. That's shooting it straight with Stan. See you next time.